Hey everyone, it's me, Sydney. This part is going to be about the situation. For me, making videos, it's like one of the most therapeutic things to do because I'm able to talk about how I feel, I'm able to talk it through, and then I'm done and I move on. So I figured the best way to do it is to include you guys in on it. So first of all, I just want to say that, number one, I'm going to be calling this person White Buffalo, and that is actually what I call this guy. And number two, I'm going to be telling you guys mostly what everything that happened. First of all, White Buffalo came along because one night I was listening to a song that my uncle wrote, and it was about a white buffalo as like the meaning. And then another night I was just like with my friends and we were all talking, and then I ended up like talking about him and I ended up calling him my White Buffalo, and no one could figure out what I was blabbering about. And then and I realized that I was talking about him four years back we go to the same group and we have hung out together we have like we obviously have to see each other for the group and stuff and then when he joined that's how I met him and that was like four years ago so I've known him for a decent amount of time but then the beginning of my freshman year the day the night before school started he and I were Skyping because we were friends and I realized I had feelings for him he said he had feelings for me and that's kind of when the whole roller coaster started he was like leading me on because he didn't really know what he wanted and I realized now that that was like a really bad thing like I should have just known from the start if a guy doesn't know what they want that was freshman year and it kind of fizzled out freshman year then I ended up quitting the group and stopped seeing him so it fizzled out and then I was like oh I'm gonna get over him like I I don't actually care about him because freshman year you like you just don't think you have that like feelings for someone along comes sophomore year there's this holiday that goes around every year and I see him every year on that holiday and I saw him and all the feelings rushed back I literally saw him and he was flirting with me like he flirts with other girls but he was flirting with me and I figured like oh he likes me you know the way he was talking to me and then afterwards he was texting me then we talked for a little while afterwards and then it fizzled out oh and I told him I liked him but I wasn't super clear about it I mean I thought I was but apparently I wasn't then over summer I messaged him and then he messaged me back like once and then he didn't message me back then the holiday comes around again and it's my junior year and that's this year and this is kind of where it comes to like everything happens this year. I see him on the holiday, all the feelings rush back like a thousand times worse actually. Like it was really bad. I'd been trying to like get him to notice me before. You want something you can't have, you just want it more. And that's what it was. He saw me, he was flirting with me like he normally does. And then we all were driving to go get frozen yogurt and he decided because I had just gotten my license that he was going to go in the car with me. We ended up going to the wrong one. So we had like 30 minutes in the car alone together and he was flirting with me and it was just really nice. Like I thought maybe there was something there but <laughs> at that point I thought there was something there and then everyone like all the adults when we got there they were teasing us and saying oh what'd you guys do for that long and I was like we really actually like drove to the wrong one. And then we had to see each other at other family parties like not family parties but like the group parties we were walking out to his car to put something away and I told him I was like what do you want from this and stuff like that and I like confronted him because he was not really giving a clear answer he was saying he wasn't ready and then that was when I just got really mad but then I kept I like confronted him and we talked a little bit and I thought wow this is actually breakthrough he was actually acknowledging it maybe there's something that's gonna happen a couple months go by we hung out a couple times and within those times of hanging out the first time he would not kiss me he like wouldn't kiss me. I was his first kiss so I mean I totally get it but we were just cuddling and stuff and it was really nice. Like I thought that we had a connection. I thought that he actually liked me. Then he did kiss me. Then we made out. That was like the first time he came to my house and then the second time he came to my house that basically happened again. Third time that you know it goes like that. So then the last time that we actually hung out we were just kissing and he wasn't really paying attention to me at first and I was like getting annoyed. I was like are you kidding me? Like you're at my house like we're hanging out and you're sitting there on your phone like really? Um we were kissing and it escalated really quickly and then after that we realized the time and we were like oh my gosh we have to go so it didn't ever like from the escalation to us getting in the car we didn't really talk then on the way there he was like I feel bad I feel like I violated you but I literally told him no you didn't you didn't because I didn't want him to feel bad because it wasn't his fault it wasn't that he was like forcing me to do anything after that I dropped him off at his football practice and cried my eyes out I sat at a coffee place with one of my friends she met up with me because she had a really bad day too but I just felt like trash I felt like the worst person in the entire world and most of the time when you do something with someone and you're not dating you realize that that's how it is it's not gonna change but I in my head had 
thought maybe he would ask me out maybe like we'd actually have something going on but that didn't happen and he really didn't seem like it mattered to him that much for a while it seemed like it did but then now he doesn't even snapchat me back or text me back half the time it's more it's always me texting or snapchatting first for homecoming i invited him to my homecoming and he blew me off he said that he had a birthday party for one of his friends and then we were snapchatting that night and he was not at his friend's house he said it had ended early and the funny thing about it was the fact that he did say he liked me at one point and he said that he just wasn't ready for a relationship and maybe it was me pushing him over the edge he didn't like me enough to want to date me like he might have liked me but he didn't like me enough to want to make it official to date me i felt like trash like i felt like i wasn't worth it i felt like my self-worth was gone because we'd done a few things every time i saw him at that group it was just a reminder of that and i realized though that i can't quit that group because then everyone will assume that it, the only reason i started started going again was because of him and that wasn't the full reason that was like a perk if that makes sense the fact that you can't run away from your problems sometimes you can get away from it for a week can't run away from them you have to deal with them and I feel like this is just a really great learning opportunity for me I wasted tears on this boy and I wasted my time and energy and my money and my emotions on him the funny thing is he asked if I wanted to be friends with benefits he was never a good enough friend to me to ever get those benefits but he doesn't make an effort he doesn't text me first he doesn't snapchat me first he doesn't really acknowledge me unless I acknowledge him first if that makes sense boys are gonna come and go I'm gonna look back at this video one day and think Sydney what did you ever see in him I think he's attractive but I don't feel the connection last time we were with the whole group one of the adults was like so when are you guys gonna date and I just looked at him and I was like that's his choice and I realized though that I don't feel the need to date him anymore because there's not the connection that I felt and I think that it's because I realized like if someone's leading you on messing with your heart no one has ever given me the same feeling and I feel like I just need to wait until someone better comes along you can't replace your feelings either and like I had feelings for him too and like they were super strong he didn't really put in the effort to cultivate anything between us it was always me putting in the effort trying to cultivate whatever relationship not boyfriend and girlfriend just as human beings together after we hung out for the last time and he felt like he had violated me we the group of us went to a specific camp together but that was my first time ever going and so I figured oh like any good person would do that like we've done things we're friends like enough to have him want to not be rude to me we went to the camp and almost everyone else had really had gone to it before or a camp like it and I'd never really gone to one, so I was really nervous, and I didn't really know anyone. Yeah, I'm a social person, but I wanted him to be there for me. He wasn't there for me, and it was really annoying because I thought that maybe he would be, and, like, I had expectations that he would, but he wasn't. So on the ride back, I was sitting next to one of my friends and my white buffalo was sitting behind next to his best friend. My friend and I were talking and he said to me, he, like he was actually texting me and he was like, Sydney, why are you letting this guy get you down? Like he's not worth it. And I was like, because like at that moment I felt like he was worth it. But then I realized he is not worth it. No guy is worth it, especially when they make you feel like you're not good enough. And for all the girls out there, I know that you guys have probably hit a point and if you haven't, congrats for not letting some guy make you feel like trash so after camp i realized that i needed to move on and this was when i took the big step into like moving on and actually getting over him so first of all i would see him after camp and stuff like after that time every time the group would get together i'd sit in my car afterwards and i would just feel awful about myself and and it wasn't like I could control how I was feeling, if that makes sense. But I would tell myself when I was driving away, I would blast my music as I drove away. And I would just say, Sydney, you are good enough. You are worth it. He doesn't deserve you. And I would just say that to myself over and over again. Positive affirmations, telling myself things that I knew were true, but like maybe I didn't believe at that point. And I realized now that like those things work. And the first step to moving on is taking yourself out of the situation. Live it love it leave it is something that i live by for everything that happens in my life no matter what it is if i need to deal with it i live it love it leave it and it's not a good thing it's not a bad thing it's just something that i live by and it helps me get through everything no matter good bad or normally like needing to happen so <clears throat> that was my motto i was in the loving how i was feeling stage and then i was going into the leaving it stage so leaving it stage is what i'm in currently it's not a short stage where you just live it love it leave it you know like three seconds and you're already done with the emotions but i've been getting a lot better and i sit in my car after the whole we all see each 
each other and I just think and then in the beginning I felt awful and I would have to tell myself you're worth it like I'd be in tears and I would drive blasting my music because I just did not feel good about myself and that was always after I saw him because I did not feel important I didn't feel like a priority and I told him that he obviously didn't care because he didn't make an effort I just want you guys to take something if you guys take anything from this video that I want you guys to know number one I've been there and I totally understand you like there's things that I'm leaving out and there's things that I'm including for a reason so I hope that you guys enjoy this video and don't forget to check out the rest of the videos there's gonna be tons of different ones and if you guys want to comment down below what you guys do want to see then I'm totally down to film something I've been through a lot I love you guys and I'll talk to you guys in my next video don't forget to check out the other video for this because it's kind of fun and I put a lot of work into it so Love you guys. Don't forget to check the description box for all my social media and for the link to the other video annotation um, at the very end of this. And if you guys want to be my friend, then yeah, because I can never have enough friends. So I love you guys so much. Peace out.